Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today with the world premiere movie review. No one's done a movie review of this movie because it just went online live and free on YouTube at midnight. And now it's 2.48. I just saw the movie. Uh, it's from uh, my friend Dave Parker, Mr. Parker. Uh, him and Dustin Mills were making a movie called uh, Halloween Spooky, which is supposed to be spe uh, special exclusive uh, released online for free on YouTube as a family friendly horror film and uh, you know uh, Dave made a little mo uh, thing about it saying you can go to this channel and watch Halloween Spookies for free and he showed like a little set that they used uh, for the wraparound with the witches and stuff and both him and Dustin Mills uh, review, uh, reviewed it made the film uh, it's an uh, anthology and there's two stories the wraparound story and there's three other stories so now we're in five minutes uh and I wanted to say, Dave Parker, a while back, uh, he was kind enough to send me a copy of one of his other movies, Slimy Little Bastards, that he did that wasn't family friendly, but this one is. And they covered all their bases. At the very beginning of the movie, they said, uh, if your kids have watched movies like Gremlins and Ghostbusters and, uh, what was the other one? Ghost, oh, Monster Squad, they'll be okay watching this. And, you know, it's more of a clean family friendly, like PG rated. Uh, not quite uh, Y7, like TV Y7, but PG rated film. And uh, it's exclusively released through Halloween. And he was saying like he wanted to make this a tradition. And he said they don't make movies like this anymore. Because I think he's like a fan like myself of the 80s horror films. Like Ghoulies, which he always mentions. Uh, Critters, The Gate, stuff like that. Or Munchies. And what this is, is it, start, it takes place during Halloween. They show the trick-or-treaters, and they have, like, a, the wraparound involving these two witches. And that's where he was on that set doing a little video saying, watch Halloween Spookies for free. And I'm going to have the link in the description uh, for the movie. You can see it for free on YouTube. And they even said, spread the word on Facebook. And they said it was going to be released live on at midnight tonight. And like I said, the witches... Uh, told of each tale and the first tale of the babysitter and it revolves a clown which is really topical because clowns are like that's the real creepy thing now uh, and there's supposed to be a clown purge I guess Halloween night I don't know how true that is you know that's why I, I did a photo with me uh, wearing a clown mask my sister said, you better not bought that and wear it out if I probably wore it outside I'd probably get shot but, I mean, in this one, it's about a babysitter. And, yeah, the two young kids went uh, trick-or-treating. And uh, they said they don't like clowns. And the uh, babysitter was there, and they went home. Went to their house, and their parents left. And uh, they encounter a clown. And the clown is really creepy, even though they try to lighten it up. Because it's more of a... The horror film is more of a... This is more of a light-hearted type horror film. Very creative. Yeah, very well done. I, I really enjoyed that story. I really enjoyed the look of this film. Like, the intro uh the animated uh credit sequence at the beginning i like their uh 80s uh, metal soundtrack and the second story was the messenger and that was like uh this guy meets this guy that's like a cross between a zombie uh the grim reaper and beetlejuice and someone even in the comments saying uh, he was getting a beetlejuice vibe from the messenger and the guy who played the zombie character was played by dave park and he played like a pizza delivery guy and a couple other things in the movie and, uh, you know, he's a pretty good actor, too. He's my friend. And also, the very last story, I enjoyed that, too. It's, it's more clever. And the last story was like, uh, they're trying to summon these demons up through, uh, uh, oh, what do they call it? Incantation. There's, there's this book of troubled, uh, youth gave this guy this book of, uh, spells to, uh, bring demons back on this planet, on the in the world, you know. And uh, it was somewhat similar to the original Ghoulies uh, movie, the very first one. But they had like three different Ghoulies that came up, like a devil creature, then like a... Oh, and the one guy in the middle had kept doing Take Care of My Legion all the time. There was a pumpkin guy, and there was uh, the devil, and there was also a cat. And the cat was Ma my cat Maggie's favorite. My Maggie liked that character a lot. And it was very entertaining. A little bit more gruesome in this one. But done in the same style that uh, Gremlins was gruesome, if you remember some of the effects in that. But not as bad, not as gruesome as Gremlins was. But this is a very entertaining film. 
too scary for the little ones, but if they can handle movies like Gremlins and Ghostbusters, they'll be fine with that. And it's, you know, it's PG rated. It's not, uh, nothing really offensive or anything like that. You know, it's really a good old fashioned time. I really enjoyed it. And like he said, like he was saying, it's like they don't make movies like this anymore. Cause I think he's a fan of the eighties films. I think, uh, the Goosebumps movie really closely resemble that somewhat, you know, but they don't really make movies like this anymore. Uh, Full Moon doesn't make movies like this anymore. It's really good. It doesn't overstay its welcome in an hour and five minutes. I really enjoyed the film. Full of a lot of energy. I really enjoy. I like the look of the movie. Uh, it's pretty impressive for a low budget. I really, it was a lot of fun. So I give uh, Halloween Spooky the nine and a half out of ten. I really enjoyed it. And it's really cool that Dave Parker was able to share this for online. I think there's a channel called Halloween Spooky. I'm going to subscribe to that too. And like I said, I'm going to leave the link in the description for the uh, so you can see the film for free. And I hope you all enjoyed this uh, world premiere movie review, which I've never really done before. I've checked. No one's reviewed this yet, so I want to make sure to get this up. So until next time, buddy, take care of my legion. I really enjoyed the film. I was very impressed by it. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. The one thing that cracked me up uh, during the final tale, the final tale was called The Familiars. I forgot to mention that. They did a version of the Monster Mash, and they, and they called it, they called it The Creature Crunch. <laughs> it still cracked me up. It was so bad. The Creature Crunch. That was bad. That was like, in that movie Frozen Scream a long time ago, they tried to, they did a version of, uh, Rock around the clock, and they call it Jack around the shack. It's like, oh my god! But Creature Crunch is like in the silly, uh, light-hearted spirit of the film. But I mean, that other one was just crazy. Jack around the shack, and God, that was terrible. But that, I mean, that was in the movie Frozen the Scream I saw a long time ago. So, I, I I'm glad I remembered that before I post uh, stop the video. So, take care, everyone. I hope you like this review. And special shout out to my buddy, Mr. Parker.